As a young boy growing up in the landlocked hills of South Carolina, the idea of joining the Navy first seized Michael Thornton's boyhood imagination when he saw films such as The Fighting Sullivans and The Frogmen. He enlisted in the Navy shortly after graduating high school, went through underwater demolitions recruit training, and became a member of the elite Navy SEALs. On October 31st, a five-man SEAL patrol consisting of three Vietnamese SEALs, Lieutenant Norris and Petty Officer Thornton, were ordered to gather intelligence about enemy activity at a river base. Launched from a Vietnamese Navy junk in a rubber boat, the patrol reached land and was continuing on foot towards its objective when it suddenly came under heavy fire from a numerically superior force. The patrol called in naval gunfire support and then engaged the enemy in a fierce firefight accounting for many enemy casualties before moving back to the waterline to prevent encirclement. During the five-hour engagement, Thornton was wounded in his back. Lieutenant Norris ordered the SEAL team to fall back to a sand dune and provide covering fire. Shortly thereafter, one of the Vietnamese SEALs arrived at Thornton's position and informed him that Lieutenant Norris had been shot and killed. Thornton charged back over 500 yards of open terrain, killing two enemy soldiers and finding Lieutenant Norris barely alive. Enemy fire all around them, Thornton picked up Norris and ran towards the beach. An incoming blast from the USS Newport News knocked both men into the air, but Thornton picked up Norris and continued to the open water. When another seal was shot in the hip and couldn't swim, Thornton grabbed him and slowly and painfully swam both men out to sea. Despite his wounds, Thornton swam for over two hours. All three men were rescued some 16 hours later by support craft. By his extraordinary courage and perseverance, P.O. Thornton was directly responsible for saving the life of his superior officer and enabling the safe extraction of all patrol members, thereby upholding the finest traditions of the U.S. Naval Service.